All right, we're back. My name is Diane Winneberg, and I'm going to be showing you my hot fudge. Um, my brother told me I had to put this on a video because he thought it was just amazing. And I've tried some other recipes online, and I have to say I agree with them. This hot fudge is really multi-purpose because um, you can use it for topping for ice cream. You can use it for layering between pudding. You can use it for cloaking a cake. But the next video after this, I'm going to show you how to make my absolute favorite walnut toffee fudge protein bars. And they're keto. They are below one and a half carbs per bar. And they are truly amazing. Um, I've always disliked the notion of fat bombs, to be honest, because that sounds gross, that sounds greasy, and some things I've tasted have been gross and greasy. These fudge bars I have fallen in love with, I believe you will too. But, on to the hot fudge. We have ingredients here for it. What we have is three quarter cup of heavy cream, um, 10 tablespoons of a mixture of erythritol and xylitol. I use mixes of alcohol sugars, by the way. Um, six tablespoons of cube butter. See the little plate? Isn't it lovely? And three quarter cups scant cocoa, one teaspoon vanilla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil the heavy cream and the butter. Pardon the fingers. I use my hands a lot, but I wash them too. So don't worry about it. And then I'm going to add the 10 tablespoons erythritol xylitol mix. I use so many varieties. I love Swerve for the wonderful powdered consistency, and it is my favorite form of powdered erythritol. Um, but I also use monk fruit sweeteners. I use liquid sweeteners, especially when making ice cream. Something you gotta realize, when you're making ice cream and it says a cup of sweetener, you don't want more than two thirds of it to be a granular or powder variety. You wanna mix in the, um, how do I put it? You want to mix in some of the liquid monk fruit, the liquid stevia, because then you'll have a softer product. Other keys with any ice cream recipe, cook the yolks into the base, make a custard. Um, these are the things that make it softer the next day so you don't get a brick hard item. All right, what I'm going to do, back to the ganache. Pardon me, I am so good at bunny trails. What I am going to do is heat this up and I am going to cook it for three minutes. Then I'm going to add the cocoa and the vanilla. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, it has been three minutes of cooking at a boil, stirring while I was boiling it. And then I also let it cool for three to five minutes um, because I don't want to destroy my magic bullet. What I'm going to do next at this point is I'm going to add the three quarter cup scant cocoa and the vanilla. I'm going to stir it in. It's going to be an ugly mess, but it's going to be beautiful after I put it into the bullet. And so I'm just going to stir this in a little bit. And sometimes I just add it to the bullet, which honestly, that probably would have been a wise thing. I usually use a scant cup. Um, a lot of my ingredients I will pick up from Amazon and also from Costco. I love the Dutch cocoa, organic Dutch cocoa from Costco. So I'll take this ugly, bumpy mess and I'm going to pour it in here. Oh, sometimes what I'm going to, what I do is I'll put in a tablespoon or two of coffee concentrate just to give it that mocha flavor. This will get very thick. A matter of fact, it will harden so much that if you want it on your favorite keto ice cream, um, you're going to have to warm it some because it is fudge. Sometimes you can almost slice it. All I'm going to do is whirl it um, just enough to make it smooth. And yeah, that's love. Let's see, I've had this for some years, so <laughs> it may be going out on me today. Dang it, we'll see. Ooh. Yeah, that's not a good sound. Maybe shake it upside down, let it start spinning. Mm -hmm. Yep. While that's it's spinning. Okay. There we 
we go. Now let's take a look at it. See how it looks. It should be very smooth. Wow. And lovely. And that is my keto ganache. Our next video, I'm going to show you the uses for this. And the next one I'm going to do, go ahead, taste it. What do you think? Is awesome. it good? <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw. Um, what I'm going to do next is make the protein bars. All right, that's it for now.